The idea of Murphy Law states that if it can happen, it will happen. So if you edit or do motion graphics, at some point down the road, you'll receive a project that requires displaying some sort of data. So here are five infographic edits you should know in After Effects. All right, we're gonna start off very simple, but we'll expand on each topic as we go through each technique. So we'll start off with an easy counter that will either count up or down depending on what you want to do. So type out a title and it can literally say anything. Then create a null object and apply the slider control effect from expression controls. Then open up your title layer and alt click the stopwatch for source text. Grab the pick whip and parent it to the slider control effect which you should rename as value one. Now you can keyframe animate the slider control from any starting number you want to a final number. Once that is done, you may realize this works, but looks terrible with this massive decimal value. To fix this, go to the expression under the source text and type capital M math dot round, followed by parentheses around the original expression. And okay, this fixes the counter animation. Now a quick tip, if you want to add a prefix, go to the beginning of the expression and type quotations, the symbol you want, followed by a plus, and that adds a prefix. If you want a suffix, just go to the end of the expression and type plus quotations and put your symbol right in the middle there. And like I said, a simple counter animation right here in After Effects. Okay, the next infographic edit you need to know is reacting shapes to a counter. For example, you see the circle reacting to the percentage value so that only about 80% of the circle is animated on. And creating this is so easy. You can start off by creating any shape that you want with the shape tools. Be sure to turn off the fill and turn stroke on. And you can set the stroke width to a large number, something like this. We can also set the color to a brighter or darker color than our background. Then duplicate the shape and change the color to a primary color for your edits. Now open the shape layer and add trim paths. Go to the end property, all click the stopwatch and parent it to the slider control that we created in our first technique. And as you can see, this is a quick way to react shapes to your counter. And here's a cool trick. If you want all click the stopwatch for a slider control and add a wiggle expression. And this will give you a random value after your graphic animates in. And I hope this video so far has been helpful. And before we move further, if you're working on any type of infographics, we have a full infographic template pack here for After Effects and Premiere Pro. You can easily preview and apply infographics into your project in no time with our Motion Duck extension. Then change the parameters to fit your project needs with our simple control layer and you're done. You can get this with along with our other 25,000 plus templates with the link below. And if you do pick up anything, you'll be supporting this channel. So thank you very much. So since we're doing a video on infographics, we have to talk about bar charts. Creating a full bar chart infographic is similar to the first two techniques we've done, but it requires more values and the pen tool. So select the pen tool and create a long straight line like this. You can go into the stroke and set it to a round cap. All right, now duplicate the line and change its color. Then, like before, add a trim paths and parent the end to the value you've created. Now this will animate with the value animation. For multiple lines, duplicate the value in that null object and then adjust the keyframes however you want. Then duplicate the bar lines, move it over, then parent the expressions to the second value. And once you get the hang of this, you can continue to create more bar lines and you know that's how easy it is to create a bar graph. All right, next up, being able to turn icons into infographics is a vital technique to know. So this will work with PNGs or illustrations, pretty much any photo that you have. Once you have your graphic, you can apply the fill effect to change its color. When you're ready, duplicate the image and change the color to a primary color. Now select the pen tool and create a very thick stroke that will cover the icon from top to bottom. Then add the trim pass property and parent the end to the value like we've been doing. Then set the track mat of the icon or the picture to the line shape layer. Now your icon will animate based on that value. And for the last infographic we need to talk about is map animations. There are so many things you can do here, but we'll go through the basics to get you going on any scenario that you may come across. So first you must get your hands on a vector map so you can go to Adobe Stock or use freepix.com to get your map. 
But once you have that illustration, you need to open it up in Adobe Illustrator. Then once that map is open, separate the areas of the map you want to animate into their own layers here in Illustrator. I have a full video on working with Adobe Illustrator to After Effects workflow, so be sure to check that link in the description for more details as I'm gonna breeze right through this. But once you have your countries or data that you wanna animate into their own layers, save the file as an Illustrator document and import it into After Effects as a composition. Now we can go into each country's layer and animate it any way we want. I'll just animate the opacity to fade them up. And that's a quick breakdown on how to do map animations. Please be sure to subscribe and always be creative.